Welcome to episode 65 of GHLRSB Reviews. Uh, this evening I will be reviewing Mountain Goat Rare Breed. So I have to give a shout out and a big thanks to a friend of mine from work, Morgan. He picked this up for me interstate. Uh, it's something I haven't seen before. He said he got it from Victoria. Um, and it is described as a, a limited edition beer. Uh, so this one is a, a black IPA. So India Pale Ale. Uh, the vintage is that was brewed uh, this year uh, with expiry next year uh, so it's a it's a great looking beer uh, we've got a bit of a story here about being black but it says that the ingredients here the malts it's got five types of malts uh, you could go through them all but I won't bore everyone um, also with the hops as well uh, it's a late hop process they said uh, Cascade and, and Galaxy hops uh, yeah, so it continues to say on there exactly what they do with the hops, but yeah, if you could see it yourself, there's a bit on there, so I'm not going to read it all out, but it, it does look like a great beer, and I'm looking forward to it, so I can't say I've had too many dark IPAs, uh, so this one should be interesting. I decided to get a bottle opener, crack it open, okay, just got my glass here, definitely is dark, and that looks good. I'll just get the pour in too, I'll just uh, give you the measurements while well, let that settle down a bit. A nice head's come up there, very thick head. As for the measurements, it comes in a 640 milliliter bottle at 7.4% alcohol by volume, so it's quite a, a, a high ABV for a beer. Um, but these dark beers, as we all know, can tend to get up there a bit. I'll just try and get the rest, or most of this in here. Okay, let's let that settle down for a bit and we'll go off this. So as for the appearance, it's definitely a, a dark, a darker appearance as you can see. Uh, towards the bottom in the glass it's more of a really dark burgundy colour. You can just see through it, but as it, the body uh, is a bit thicker in the glass, and yeah, you can't see through it, but you can towards the bottom. Uh, the head is a very thick mocha head. Yeah, very thick in consistency, uh, not, not light by any means. As for the smell, straight up I'm, I'm picking up the hops, like a berry sort of fruity, hoppy flavour, and even a little bit of a dark fruit smell to it, but it's really got a, a zesty, a zingy hop smell, quite quite pronounced, and also the malt's coming through, yeah, but the, the hops are really flying out there, and the smell. I'll just top that up a bit. As you can see, the head's really, really good on it. Uh, it looks great and smells fantastic, actually. Great smelling beer. If you can imagine, you know, one of the really hoppy IPAs you get or Pilsen it's got that real grassy, refreshing smell, but mixed in with a dark fruit sort of smell there as well, uh, with the roasted malts, etc. All right. Most important part, the taste test. Cheers. Well, if you want to be that knocks your socks off, this is it. Plenty of flavor there. Uh, true IPA style, style. Very bitter, extremely bitter beer. Uh, nice malt sweetness though, uh, which balances, out, balances it out really well. Um, there's a great balance there with the bitterness and the sweetness. I'll just give it another sip. I'm picking up uh, a roasty taste there, a chocolate sort of coffee flavor. I want a nice bitterness from that, uh, including with the, a very hoppy bite there, or hot bite. Um, but they're in in that is uh, mixed between is a nice malty sweetness um, and as we know IPAs can be very bitter and the, the bitterness is lingering in my palate but there's a sweetness there as well so it's it sort of even works after you swallow the beer it's still um, working in your mouth but uh, true to an IPA and its form uh, this one is very bitter uh, but in a good way very nice Yeah, I like this. It's very good, very good. It's um, being that it's 
you know, an IPA and you love that. I love that style and I know many of my friends do. Um, but with the roasted malts and it being a dark IPA, it's something different. It's a nice blend of uh, two different types of beers. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm really, really enjoying it. I'll give it one more sip and I'll give it a score. Yeah, very bitter beer, plenty of flavour, nice malty sweetness mixed in with there. Uh, yeah, very great beer. I, I'm quite impressed with this. So, I'd like to thank Morgan for getting it for me. Uh, it's been such a pleasure to review it. So, what would I give it? I'll give it nine and a half out of ten for Mountain Goat Rare Breed Dark IPA. So, if you see this around, and you, if you like your IPAs, give this a run. If you like your bitter beers, you, you'll lap this up, uh, particularly with the the blend of two different styles very very good so nine and a half out of ten for me for mountain goat rare breed thanks for watching another g hello beer review and i'll see you in the next one cheers